coming down, 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 coming down, down, down. The glory of the Lord is coming down. When the saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way, and the glory of the Lord is coming down. Let's say pray, huh? Shango Sayano Terianza. Mabembe de Ato Mirio Sayane Ruonza Eshum. Kuala Mararanda Baba Benziato Siari Sham Dungbemo. Aunguela Ruonza Te Singinar Tatahari now. Wauran Wauran Gamabanzia. Tuamben in their Tario Sambirika Sandayano Pompingi or Risome. Tangulilana has in the atom here in Zela to Gashiangulan. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to heaven to worship and to thank you this morning. Thank you, Father, for your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, experience. You may be seated. I always, in my meeting, I always give freedom. If you want to remain standing, you can do so. If you want to sit, you can sit. So, from experience, all these 70 years of standing in the pulpit, since you are, since you are born, you never heard that. You don't have any, you have such things you have to see yourself. So, all these 70 years, what I've seen, what I saw, I've led generation and generation by the grace of God, maybe this generation will pass again, I'm going to read another generation. But uh, the other thing we have, I have learned, sometimes, we force ourselves, God never allow you to do this, and you like it. You like it, but God never gave you. So this morning, as we are uh, sharing, I just want to show you that uh, some people died, I know this, because of disobedience. And they die before the time because they forcing, they want to do this. I know uh, a man in high field who uh, about to die because he, he was fasting. Oh, a lot of fasting. Oh, three days, three nights. Uh, he wanted to be a, a prophet. He wanted, to, and he ruined his own body, thinking that when you torment your body, you can have a gift. So I know some people died, but they didn't listen. All of us, we have a conscience. The way God speaks to us, you can. Feel that God doesn't want you to do this. You, when you do that, you don't get blessing. Then you know God is not there. So, a uh, lot of things that uh, like the, you, the woman who said yesterday, tell me, can I grow tobacco or not? What did we say to her? Say, what is your conscience says? Because the, you, your conscience is the last thing. Your conscience, God speaks to your conscience. When you do something is not good, you feel it. It's nothing. Last I used, you wanted someone to prophesy about that, but you, only, you know it. That God, when I do this, I don't get a blessing. I tell you, I was filled with the Holy Spirit in 1948. And from that time, that's why I know that it is, if you have a, 
receive the living word, the seed of God, you will see by growing, 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 growing. Since 1948, here I am. I'm so growing, growing, growing. Because anything, yeah, I may remember that time I was explaining about the, the, the flowers. It's wonderful, it looks nice, flowers. But these flowers, that's because it's not in the root, in the water. It doesn't matter how much you can put water that, uh, to water this, but because it's not in the earth, it cannot go anywhere. So anything with your life has to grow. Can I repeat that? Anything that alive, a sign is growing. We have said, when God gave the children of Israel the land of Canaan, it was full of giants, a lot of enemies there. But he said, I gave you. Anything which you never suffer for it, you don't look after it. But anything you suffer for it, you look after it. <clears throat> so that's why sometimes uh, we don't, if I like to give you a book, sometimes I have to sell for you so you can look after that book. If you don't sell, if you just pick it, you can throw it any time. So, that's, I'm here to share with you that what we have said when we were in Mondoro, I will repeat it again. When people plant gum tree, they plant gum tree so that they are going to use it to build houses or some things. But it takes some years for that gum tree to be enough to use to build a house. So I find out that spiritual, real, the truth, it is uh, it's step by step, step by step. And you see by things changing. But when you are changing, here, God speaks. God speaks two, three times. When you speak to me, okay, you don't know, the, you don't know my life. When God speaks, he says, I'm going to kill you. So, me, I mean, three times. So, second, I'm going to kill you. So, he speaks. So, it happened to Moses when he forgot to sacrifice his children, his child. Remember, and when we were with his there, that, that night that was the separate the world, the poor house decided to go home, say, I cannot stay with this man of blood because God came to, to try to kill them. This is God we serve, some of you. You don't know this God. It's a fearful God, full of love, but it cannot play with God, that God. So God wants you to have true fear, genuine fear that leads you to that God we will trust you. So that's, I said there are some people who died because of disobedience. They forced things to do that things, yet God is, how many women is here, some are here. You feel guilty because you allowed that man to sleep with you. And he has gone. So then you feel guilty. You know, you have to do a lot of things to get up again to cry to God for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you, to hear you. So, I don't know why today's women they are so cheap. I don't know. You them, I own my church, I own very, very few. Those who say a man was trying to touch me, I fought, I kicked him out. But the majority, that Mama Guti said, please, women, let we look after our pastors. Why? If we, if we don't 
we men, we always tempted. We are a man. Men always tempted. Tempted to want to follow sin. But if the woman said, no, 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 we are better off. It helped us. I said, it helps a lot. Because men always just like it's a man. But it is the women who help us to say, no, 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 don't touch me. No, 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 I'm born again. If all these women should do that, oh, it would be wonderful. 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 I don't know why so the board so weak and that man can persuade you and ruin you and somebody, somebody's, somebody's husband and ruin you and you allow that. I said today, if you are a woman of God, learn to control your body. The feeling comes and go. Stay in the word. Pray, pray to God. For cry to God. I did not one time. Oh my years, I was crying all the time. God, I don't want to sin. Oh God, cry, help me, I don't want to sin. But if you are gifted, you are always be attempted. If you are gifted, you are always attempted. Things come around you. So that's my life all these years, many years. Cry to God. Cry to God. Now, today I'm here. It's wonderful to be rich spiritual. But the way you, we, you are, some of you are rich here because you have been working hard, you got a lot of money. So then I said, why not spend more time again spiritual? Work hard so you can be rich uh, spiritual. First Timothy chapter 3. And uh, we'll just, okay, I can start with verse 14. <clears throat> uh, the, these things I write it to you. Though I hope to come to you shortly. But remember, after he spoke about the deacons. So because of that, we have to read that deacons again. Verse 8. Likewise, deacons must be reverent and uh, not double tongues, not giving too much wine, not greedy. For money, <clears throat> holding mystery of faith, which pure conscience. It's not something to tell people who are not member of your church. We are doing it. We are doing this. You only give peak testimony things. Even your family, and uh, 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 you don't when you corrective things in your family. You don't uh, tell everybody. So, verse 15. But if I am delayed, that I start there. But if I am delayed, I write it to you so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. Go and repeat it there. So that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the Church of Living God, the pillar and ground of the truth, and without and without contrast, greater is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels preached among the Gentiles, 
believe it on the world, received any glory. Father, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Father God, for the word. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That is the message that today that it says here, if I delay, I want you to know to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is uh, a church of living God. The pillar, the word we are spending, uh, the pillar and ground of the truth. Then, we are saying, if we want to look someone to look after my money, where can I go? If we don't find faithful people in the church, where can we find good people? If I want to give someone to look after my, man, my money, where can I go? Can I go to beer hall to look someone to, to look after my money? Can I go to the prostitute to get someone to look off my money? If we, if the church fail to be to live as a faithful, where can we find uh, good people? Where can we find a faithful people if we don't find them in the church? So the teaching here that the church. So repeat it again. You got in your Bible. Repeat it again. That, that, that you, how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. So, what if we cannot find a faithful people in the church? Where can we find the people? If you are in trouble, you need help. Where? You always look for the Christian to help you. But now, if, that's where you spoke again and said, if we cannot find faithful people in the church, where can we find someone whom to trust? So that's the duty of the church to hear today that God wants you to that day we conduct, how you conduct yourself in the house of living God. I want you to listen to me as we're going to share and to, with you. Education uh, and being civilized, we found that is different. We have a lot of educated people, but they are not civilized. But many years ago, we used to respect educated people. We thought they bought everything. But we found out that a number of people, got some got educated, they are educated people, but they are not civilized. How do you know that they are civilized? They live in the city, if they, they drink water, they live bottle there. They leave the tissue, leave it there, a sign that they are not civilized. But we think, uh, this we believe in forward faith, we teach people, after born again, we teach people to be civilized. We teach people to be clean, we teach people to uh, not to live uh, like uh, pigs. We, we teach people where you sleep must be very clean. You must look after your body because your body now is a temple of all the Holy Ghost. So we teach people. So as far as I know, uh, we here as Zimbabwean people, if we can just put our mind together, we can do it to become faced First world, the language they used to do. But uh, this, what you used to call uh, third world mentality, it has, you always think that there are some superior. You always think that white people are superior. 
that third world mentality. Always you will surprise uh, if a, a white man have a crusade here and a black man have a crusade, you find more black they go to the white men. <laughs> All the men, they always think that to be black you are down there and you the white up there. So that's third world mentality. You always think that somebody is better top than you. But hear me, I'm not like that. Where are you learning from that? I'm your spiritual father. Uh, here. Skin doesn't change anything. Skin is just a skin. But your mind, your heart. So, um, third world, world mentality, thinking that the white people is better. God created you to live here in Africa. God created you to live here. And he gave you strong skin. That doesn't matter how to hot. <laughs> not change. I got my, my son, Alastair Geddes, when I came with him from Scotland. He tried to stay outside. He was banned. Because his skin is good in Scotland. Not here. So, we have a problem of uh, they are crying outside there. You want to go there. Think, but you, all the things you are going there, you can do it here in your own country. Hear me, I'm a Zimbabwean, but I'm enjoying my own country. And I own, enjoy my own skin. But you, Always think that maybe somewhere, maybe somewhere, it is the third world mentality to think that someone is superior than you, but it's not. Hear me? People are just people. Black, white, yellow, people are just people. But we have to fight with that spirit of uh, only maybe someone must be better. So you are running away, you, you don't want to clean your place, you're going to run, someone clean his own place and you want to go there. Ah. Yeah, some they've cleaned that, they've worked hard to clean their place and you, you leave, you want to go there. So that's what we call third world mentality. So today I need to spend the time for you. I want you to change. If you are born again, you have to change. You, no one higher than you. We will move on. How? Yeah, we not today. We call it developing the developing the countries mentality. But those years we used to call it third world mentality. That third world mentality is always uh, a demand somebody who has worked hard his own things. Always third world mentality always go to someone who has cleaned his own place and you want to go there. So today I'm saying time has come for all Zimbabwean people, Christian, to change. Time has come. So we never, as I said, Zimbabwean, they are hard workers and they are full of, of, of education. They are well educated. But they have the problem of, the, of my people. They go all the way with this PhD looking for the job. They go, yeah, go there, they're going around there, they go to South Africa, go to England. They're there with their degree looking for the job. So we encourage everybody to have, have foundation business administration, so you can start your own business. I repeat again. If you're a member of Foreign Faith, hear me. Don't, oh, this is what you do. If you don't have uh, money to go to school, go and work under somebody's, you know what I did, 
I, when I went to school, I was here in Mbari to learn to I'm a carpenter profession. But the, now when I find, finish carpentry, said I need to know how to put the roof, roofing. I have to look at someone who was roofing houses. Then I went to work under him and I support him in learning. He was my boss. <laughs> learning, learning. Then I know how to put the roof. So I said, no, I can put the roof, but I don't know how to make a proper nice ceiling. What can I do? I remember when I was doing for this white man, he was beating me in my butt. I said, hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, what are you doing my, my roof? <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I went to learn how to put a ceiling. So because I didn't have a not to go to, to the university, but I went to learn the job. Today, no, I'm a carpenter, I can do anything. But you, you got a degree, but you are going all over looking for the job. In England, all the good job is for them, not for you. If you go to America, all good jobs is for them, not for you. So why do, why do you... Now, me, I'm here, you say I'm here. I'm here to change, to change you, to change. You have to change. Yeah. Don't have that mentality of the, maybe somebody is better than me. No, no one, no one better than you. You yourself. Stand up, wake up, do something with your own hands. You always demand other people because you are lazy. Good things you have to work hard. Good things you have to work hard. Don't just admiring people, admiring other people. So, why we can no one will change our country on ourselves? That is a problem. Some people I wrote down here. Some people they look wrong side, wrong wrong side. Christian should be initiator of good things in our own places. Let we as a Christian. Uh, start good things in our area but doing good things how can we stop corruption we can stop whom do you think wants to change the country do you think ungodly people no oh it is a Christian who's gonna change from well corruption is closed because of greed so we, as a born again people, we must stop no more greed because we are so rich and spiritual. No more greed for money. Cor corruption uh, is caused by greed. So I believe all good things must come from a church as already read it. Let, the, let me talk about things which were started by Christian. If you want to know, I can tell some, some of you know, but you say I can just say the nurses, when you said now there's a lot of nurses there, it was by starting by a woman, now everywhere there are nurses. A born again Christian started to be a nurse. Uh, okay, if you go to uh, Masringo, who started the uh, bl blind school? It was a Christian. Who started uh, all, all disabled uh, Christ people helping? It's a Christian. Now, now, if you are just sit there and you are not doing anything, you will die crying. Such why I was born in Zimbabwe. God created you to be born in Zimbabwe. Why you want to stay in Canada, very cold country? Here, there's sunshine here. In Zimbabwe, sunshine. And you want to go there, Canada, very cold country. Leave your own country. 
Because you are lazy, you think Canada, uh, you're going to pick money in the road. No. <laughs> so I believe that we Zimbabwean, we can change our country. But who's going to start it is only by church. Good things will start by church. So it's very, very important. Good things come from the church. Then I will read something which I wrote here. Uh, you, you know, uh, the, sometimes the church look for to the politician, yet politicians have to look to the church. Okay, you cannot, you, any country, you have to have a politician. You have to have them. Because the purpose of the politician is to, to go to a hard place where you cannot go. And they go there and fight and put things out. Then the church comes in. So, so you need the politician, you need them. So that uh, when they have done their job, and how I many, if you go to America, when people have been soldiers for a long time, it is on the church try to change them to be good people. If we have a politician, they just live in the bush and fighting, and there's no church, the world, we, we, they can kill you anybody, they can kill you anytime. Did you read the story what happened in Mau Mau? <laughs> in Kenya, <laughs> when they've been bush for a long time, when the you know, war was finished, what they were doing? When they're hungry, they just come to your home and kill you, take food. That's all. Until the church began to teach the truth, the scripture says the church is the soul of the earth. It's a church that caused politicians to be nice people. Without the church, they remain bitterness. Always they do their fighting. So it is a church that calls uh, as a salt of the nation that makes things easier. So when you are walking everywhere in the world, when you hear there's a Christian in that area, you feel good. When you are walking or in a shop or anything, you hear that that, uh, that shop there, there's a Christian there. You want to go there because you believe that it's a safe site. So we are moving on. <clears throat> I believe that the duty of the church is to the soul of the earth. So we can do it. We can do it yes. as a Zimbabwean. Yes. But your problem, you always admire other people, other country, because they've cleaned their home, they've cleaned their places, and then you stay in the room. And start now, clean your place. Start now, clean where you're sitting now. Start now, clean where you're sitting now. Don't throw the rubbish everywhere. If you don't have a, a bin to put it, but when you're outside, just put one place. Just put all oh, one place. Somebody will come clean that. But it's not going to the, start now. Start now. Before you go to face the street to clean, start now. Amen. Start now, clean your places. We can do it. Zimbabwe is a very rich country. If you are not lazy, you can go, you start your own mine here. All kinds of things. You dig here, some money here. There's a man here who, who was looking. He, because of he didn't eat it, he was throwing them stone. Another man from outside said, this is stone are very important. But to him, he was just throwing those. He thought, he thought. Now today, that man is so, a very rich boy. It's Bob here. Now he sent those stones every day. Tracks of those stones, very easy, not to dig, just. So, oh, so many years ago, we used to talk about when we uh, want to explain 
some people say, uh, we said, you, they used to, many years ago, they used to hide uh, sweet potato or something, hide it uh, in the earth, and the baboon can come and sit there not knowing there's a food there. <laughs> the baboon sit there <laughs> and go to hungry <laughs> uh, because <laughs> they know. So a lot of Zimbabwean people, they're sitting on the top of money. Did, did you hear that woman from, I uh, think, from Chishawasha say, we, still, we are so poor, we are so poor, you are poor because you are lazy. <laughs> you are sitting on, you are sitting on the top, the money there. And the, the wise people, they'll come, you know, the wise people, they say, Get out here, get out, get out here. There's a man here, and they, they employ you. <laughs> they employ you to work for them at your home. You are there, brother. <laughs> when you are going to open your eyes now, today is your day. Hear me. Well educated people, but uh, something wrong do I have brain something wrong but so you why well, i have to continue speaking because something wrong with the zimbabwean people you don't trust yourself you trust somebody can i say again? you don't trust yourself you trust somebody someone today's your day you have to change today you have to change today we too we can plan our thing we can plan something ourselves as a Zimbabwean. But all good things start by church. All good things has to start by church. So that's why here today we still have that face. We have read what I say. But if I am delayed, I write so that you know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God. We were talking that day of conduct yourself. We were talking about that day. Uh, uh, we were talking about uh, integrity. Integrity, as we mentioned. So, integrity. Uh, Uno, umundo, so integrity. So we in Zimbabwe are full of educated people. I had my pastors in Gweru some years ago. Now he was saying to me, Baba, send the word, Baba, devil here is eating ashes, devil is mad here in Gweru, we are suffering. Devil is mad here. Mad, very. Then he said, Baba, uh, what can he do? The devil is mad in the whole city. We are suffering. Then I, I prayed to God, what can I answer to my son? I said, then I sent the word, said, my son, leave the devil, let him do his work. You do your work. <laughs> when you ask, sitting you you see a lot of mistake the reason because well, that's why all people who criticize people they're they are, they are doing nothing yeah. when you are so busy you don't have time to, to criticize other people yeah. but when you are not busy you criticize people i was leading in the city of harare i was a big foreman of the builders carpenters laborers so i have thousands of people in my hands in the city of Harare. But uh, I was, uh, I'm not a builder, but uh, I was controlling the builders. All those Matapi, all those Magaba are there. So why did I able to see mistake? Because I was just doing, sitting down, 
see the bill, what he's doing. So I can see mistakes because I was doing nothing. They used to say, how can this happen? How can he be foreman to us? He does know about the building. But because I was sitting, I can see that is something wrong there because I was doing nothing. So I know that when you are doing, if you are not busy, you deacons. If you are not busy, you always criticize the pastor. I saw you. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always criticize the pastor. Now, in our ministry, when you don't criticize anybody, when you think you can do it, start doing it. So, uh, what did I say? That, uh, why today you don't do what we used to do? We never wait to be sent by pastor. We just go to the marketplace, go around there. We used to go to buy bicycle and uh, I used to make my own pulpit and carry my pulpit, go to market there and put my pulpit and preach, preach, finish it, put my pulpit, go another place, preach, preach. But you also criticize uh, the church, uh, the church. So we are there. But if I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. The pillar and ground of the truth. So, where we can find the truth if we cannot find it in the church? So, brothers and sisters, all oh, I'm sharing with you, let's we start good things. We as a Christian, let's we start good things. Don't wait to be sent by pastor. Just do it. Win so. That I did myself. I used to have some cards. So when I win them to the church, I say send I send them to the church. I win them in the road, I send them to the church. But the reason why some deacons here always complain to the pastor because they are sitting doing nothing. When you are all an elder, deacon for a long time, you know a lot of things. But if you don't do anything, you will have a spirit of criticism. You begin to criticize leaders, you criticize, talk bad. And I say as a spirit shown, there are some people who are now backslidden because of our language. You talk, you talk the problem of the church with the wrong people. And look now, they are not coming to our church anymore because of you. Stop that language. Stop that language. Speak good language. If I delay, I want you to know how to conduct yourself in the church of living of God and the pillar of ground of the truth. So, today, it's the day of the Lord, the day of blessing, to educate ourselves, to find ourselves as Zimbabwe become face world. Who's going to do it? It's you and me. So, stop talking, criticize this one, criticize doing that. Do something. So, so look at me, at me, I'm not a politician, but I'm doing something. I'm doing something, winning soul. Change bad people to good people. That's my part of uh, uh, helping our nation. So, I want to repeat again. All good things we have found out is starting by Christian. So, I'm saying to you, time has come. Wherever you are, let we start good things. Let you start good things. Not only that in the conjunction of those trouble in the road, when those cars just were here, he want to go this way and we don't want him to go. And, and he want to go this way, me I want to go this way. Why not just say like this? So he go, then you go. But uh, <coughs> you were there, you, me, I want to go. Me, I want to go. Several people, they don't do that. 
Civilized people, they give one, one another time to pass. <laughs> Promise me in Harare people, are we going to change? Yes. It's only you Amen. and me who can cause people to find that, ah, Zimbabwe is a safe country. Amen. There was a, in the Bulawayo, there was an area where there was a lot of thugs, people are beating that place. And we went there, we pitched the tent, that place. And to, from that time, you can walk that place night time, no more. No more thugs. That's why we know the power of the kingdom of God. We know. Any area you hear, there's a lot of thugs. Go and put a tent there, preach. Yes, we've done that. And we were where? Uh, <coughs> At the Jehota there was a lot of drunk people, bad people. We started preaching there. They came with the ex say, we're going to kill you. But we continue preaching the kingdom of God. We change the place. So you too, you can do that. Any area around Harare, when you hear there are a lot of thugs, people are being beaten there. Find a group of people, go there and start a church there. Preaching the gospel, you find those thugs who do not make that. They can be born again. Now, I'm talking from experience. I'm not just teaching you, which I've been there. I know that you can do that. Why, if, wherever forward in faith people, we don't want to think about yourself. You've been saved so you can save others. Amen. I want to repeat again. You've been saved so you can save others. It didn't save you to just uh, full of pride. Me, I'm born again. Me, I don't do this. No. God saved you so he can save others. Is that clear now? Yes. When someone starting Sadza here, we must buy that Sadza. Yes. When someone start here by Derere uh, or Okura, we must buy that. Yes. Today is the day for the change. Deacon, Deacon, hear me. Yes. Today, today. Oh, our, our deacon must change today. Today is the day for you to repent. Today is for you day to repent. It is heart, the heart, the heart, the heart. It's not anything is in the heart. Your heart must change today. Your heart must change today. Your heart must change today. Your heart decide today. Your heart to change. It's only your choice. No one can do it. It's only you. You can change your heart. Amen. Today is a day for you to change. Shall we all stand? The Bible is very clear. The heart, the heart, the heart, the heart, the heart, the heart, the heart. It's now time for all of us to see and to get angry with the bad heart. That bad heart. I spent this a year. Create in me, O oh God, a clean heart. Create in me, O oh God, a clean heart. And he has done it. He baptized me in the love. If you say, Baba Guti is your spiritual father, why not learn from Baba Guti? Why you so have bitterness? Why do you hate people? Why have you still have jealousy for other people? Today is a day for the Lord. We are going to pray. It's the time now to pray. Let's do our hands, let's do raise our hands. Pray for our hearts. Our heart. Our heart. Our heart. Our heart. Our heart. In the name of Jesus. 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 Koshia Tamba Yakusumbiya Toro Sando. Kambiya Sopo Bogasia Tariya Gusumbuya. Carota, 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 Clela Porosa, Temiando, Webbe, Asia, Murigando, Papa in the name of Jesus, 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 wherever you are today. Wherever you are today, is a day for your heart to change. Wherever you are, hear me today. 
you must change your heart today your heart must change you must have a new heart from jesus new heart from jesus new heart from jesus if you are not born you must be born again and have a good heart have a spirit of jesus have the heart of jesus jesus was good to jesus why your heart is so bad today 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 a day for our heart to change wherever you are today you can i want you to spend a week until you test yourself now i feel, I feel a new good good heart no more heart you can new heart God has to me. I want you to be same to wherever you are. Have a good new heart from Jesus. Full of love of Jesus. And God will bless you. Amen.